A Black Liberation Army member who killed a transit officer is set to be released from prison and has planned out how he will live out the rest of his days. Robert Hayes killed New York Transit Patrolman and father of two Sidney Thompson, 37, in 1973 when the officer tried to arrest then 23-year-old Hayes and another BLA member for jumping a subway turnstile. Now the 69-year-old is set to be released as early as July 24 after being granted parole for his 35-year-to-life sentence. To the dismay of Thompson's family, Hayes revealed to the New York Post that he plans to grow vegetables and raise chickens in the countryside of upstate New York with his jailhouse wife. However, the cop killer also said he believes he will be dead in two years but added, I just want to do good in the time he has left. Hay said his imminent death is due to diabetes and congestive heart disease. I promise repentance, he said of Thompson's family members. However, Thompson's widow Joyce, 68, and the rest of his family are disheartened by Hayes's release. It just broke my heart, she said. My husband was killed because he stopped somebody from jumping a turnstile. My husband was killed for 15 cents, she added. Hayes has been in prison for 44 years and denied parole 10 times, according to the Department of Corrections and Community Supervisions. After killing Thompson in 1973, he fired at five officers who found him in a blah hideout using a sawed off shotgun. Share this article. Share now. The 69 year old says he has many regrets. Had I thought about it, I would have made better decisions, he said. Speaking to the Post, Thompson's son, Stephen, 51, said. He's saying he's sorry. That's hard to believe. He assassinated my father. He should not get out of jail, Stephen, now a Virginia deputy police chief, said. He should not get out of jail. Stephen was just six years old when his father was killed. I just hope that not every day for the rest of his life which I hope is short that he thinks of my son and daughter who grew up without a father and of the grandchildren my husband never saw," Joyce said. Hayes's release has been met with widespread criticism from law enforcement. Michael Powers, president of the New York State Correctional Officers and Police Benevolent Association, said, It is a travesty that yet another murderer who killed a member of law enforcement in cold blood will be turned loose on the streets to reintegrate with the public, whom his victim gave his life to protect. If Governor Cuomo truly is serious about criminal justice reform, he must start by fixing a broken parole system that would allow such a sinister killer to go free," he added. Patrolman's Benevolent Association President Patrick J. Lynch said, Robert Hayes didn't just murder a hero police officer he also tried to kill five more cops when they showed up to arrest him. The parole board cannot seriously claim that they considered Hayes's criminal history as part of their decision-making. If they had, they would have realized that he is a ruthless killer who no New Yorker wants living on their street, 